I was on my way out to Phoenix and I stopped in a West Texas town to gas up the old truck and rest a bit and I thought I might do some browsing around. I asked the man at the truck stop what was happening in town. I like to kick up my feet. And he said, why, there's a band from the Grand Ole Opry that's playing right down the street. And the place was about three blocks away. And it looked like a used car lot. The music sounded prettier every step I took and got louder the closer I got. I paid my way in and pushed through the crowd to the bandstand way in the rear. And I was leaning on the rail by Hal Rugg and his steel guitar with a grin from ear to ear. And my attention was drawn to a little old man. And his hair was as white as snow. In one hand he held an old fiddle, and in the other hand was a bow. Well, at first I thought he was there with the band, but I soon saw what it was about. Why, he was a hounding the boys to let him set in, and the club owners wanting to throw the old man out. Yeah, well, soon the band took a break, and the boys came down. The star, ah, well, you all know him well. He made his way over to the little old man through the screaming crowd and the yells. And he said, you know, I seem to recognize you, sir, but I don't quite recall your name. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Why, I was just a kid when you was at the height of your fame. Now, hold on, son, the old man said. There's no use to waste your breath. Well, there's a modern trend in music today, and the fiddle has met its death. Why, there's not a soul in this crowd tonight that would even give me a hand. But son, I want to hear what a fiddle sounds like just one more time with a band. Soon the band came back and the star of the show, and the crowd fell still and quiet. For the little old man, he was introduced that night like never before, with the click of the strings and the touch of the bow and the count of one, two, three. Such a fiddling you've never heard before. It's something the whole world should see. While the crowd wouldn't let the old man quit, it was a night we'd never forget. And he played every number that they asked him to play until his clothes was just ringing with sweat. That night, I saw a genius at work the touch of a true master's hand, for he had more talent in one little finger than the entire rest of the band. But I had to leave a few minutes before closing time to get a head start of the crowd. And I got my old truck back out on the highway, and inside I felt good and proud. I'm glad I didn't stay until they played the theme for the morning papers all read when the band played Good Night Little Sweetheart, the old fiddler fell dead. <laughs>